the blueprint Sleeping rage and youth till exuberant Everybody loves the wood for a nuisance Hit the earth like an asteroid Need nothing but you Rock that, 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 rock the line on tomb Do you fraudulent Inject that collagen From your heart to your car Pull up Diamond Billy shining with the bangles out All right, Shalom, Kaul Allah Imla, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect, your brothers out there in the four corners of the world, pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And to you, few sincere sisters as well, who bow yourselves to your Israelite husbands and some who will find some, okay, who worship Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh in sincerity and in truth, okay, because that's what your salvation is. To you, I say Shalom. This Kai Ha here, back with another Jake or Fake, all right? And um, with uh, today's people, I don't really, I, I mean, I, I pick people some days, like here and there, stuff like that, but I, I really just kind of like go through the spirit. But today I have picked a couple people, um, a couple Jakes, well, a couple people that I feel like are Jakes, you know, that identify and, um, you know what I'm saying, like a uh, blend in with, with Jake's natural personality, man, which is like lively, you know what I'm saying? Just unique, different, whatever the case is, man. So um I picked Yellow Wolf and uh whatchamacallit, um Justin Timberlake, you know what I'm saying? Um because both of them, uh, you know, I believe through the spirit are Gadites, you know what I'm saying? So called Native American Indians. Okay? So that's right, yeah, these two quote unquote white boys, you know, may may be your brothers, man. Okay? Now as I always, and this is this just a disclaimer, as I say in every single Jake or Fake video, I'm not doing this just for amusement. I'm not doing this just to um uh uh just for shits and giggles. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this because, as I always say, man, there are gonna be brothers that come up to the camp. You know what I'm saying? That's that's gonna look like the other nations, okay? And through the spirit, we like you gotta know how to identify them, man. You know, with the best of your ability, man. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord. Or whatever the case is, you know, wh whoever uh, comes up to the camp, you know what I'm saying? Like, not looking like your average uh, your average everyday Jake, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the dark skin, the woolly hair, or you got the, the Puerto Ricans with the um the high yellow skin and the, the slick hair and stuff like that. Or whatever the case is, man, you know, or it looks like a, you know, a ready skin Native American or whatever the case is. All right, they may look like the so-called Japanese, Chinese, Arabs. And things of that nature, man. Uh, uh, Africans, you know, they may look like the other nations. They may carry customs of the other nations, as we did before we found out about, you know what I'm saying, the, the truth of the scriptures, man, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, so to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, listen up, man. Um, I'm going to play this I'm gonna play this, this one clip first from uh, the 2011 BC, uh, BET Cypher. To Detroit, this is the BET shady 2.0 and yellow is going up first i'm gonna just you know play like a few minutes well a couple seconds or maybe maybe a minute into his part and stuff like that you know what i'm saying just to you know get y'all up to speed if you don't know who yellow wolf is you know uh you know you could listen to his music you could look up his bio uh his um biography or whatever the case is or whatever but he um and i'm gonna do that after the clip so i ain't even gonna ruin it so we're just gonna go into the video Cypher 2011, myself, Slaughterhouse, and Yellow Wolf. All right, so now you see M and Yellow Wolf, they brought the brightest things up there and stuff like that. But again, man, like through the spirit, they are Jake's, man. I believe it was the Elder Apostle Tahar. Don't quote me, don't quote me, you know. And if I'm misquoted, I apologize. But I believe it was the Elder Apostle Tahar who said that Eminem was a Jake, man. And it makes sense, man, because look, look at his relevancy. In the hip hop uh, gang back then, and, and uh, even today, man. Okay. Now again, we don't we don't look to these guys as damn idols or whatever the case is. We shouldn't look to these guys as idols or whatever. But if you listen to their music, you listen to their music, man. You know, I know a lot of brothers are starting to get into more like the uh, the um, you know the um, the like the. I don't even like the soothing music part of, of, of life, man. You know, like listening to actual instruments and like like listening to authentic music because all of this is just bullshit, man. You know, all of this is just, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, another way to keep our people down, man. You know what I'm saying? Like these random ciphers. They also, I mean, yeah, they show off Jake's talents and skill sets, you know, verbally and uh, the, uh, uh, things of, of that nature. 
All right, but it's it's really just an instrument. Now it's used as an instrument to keep our people down, man. Okay. White dog. Thank you, Cracker. Get him. Put these motherfuckers in the box and I'll send them away. Put them in the grave. That can pop the trunk. Hey, throw them in the bag. Check. I dig them a grave. Put a brick inside that tear rocks when I print up a page. Moving keys, I can't relate. Cause I live in a cage. I throw up the A. I take them to school. I give them a grave. An easy E for effort. That's the way you know when you wave. White with an attitude. Alphabet soup is on my plate. All I got is these. They sleeping on me. I can't get them away. I spoke. So you see in the beginning, it was just like a, a white dog. Get them. Thank you, cracker. Oh, whatever the case is. Uh, like. Jake, Jake be, just be bullshitted with, with himself like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we, um, we, like, we've been conditioned to, you know what I'm saying? Like, lean on how we look rather than who we are or whatever the case is, man. You know, uh, and, and, you know, Native, uh, not Native, uh, Yellow Wolf, it's not like he could just come out and be like, yo, I'm Native American. I mean, he, he did, you know, he identifies as a Native American and, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I'm gonna go into his biography or whatever the case is and stuff like that, but... He 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 can only like really identify as a, a a Caucasian man because of how he looks, man. Which is that's wicked as hell because that's not who he actually is. You know, same thing with M. Same thing with Justin Timberlake. Same thing with um oh uh, oh uh, what I forgot the sister name something Marie something I forgot but she was you know she was an old school singer from back in the day, man. You know uh same thing with Mariah Carey and, and all of the rest of them, man. Okay. See them as time in the room for the deceivers and clowns who believe in making it rain because all they see is the clouds. And I'm watching the cows with the VIP like a potato with a bunch of meat here. Like, fuck it. I just feed them a cow. Plenty of white boys can pick from this year. But before you pick a pepper, you better pick up your heater. Because even Peter Piper can pick up a mic. But what it's like to pick a fight with me is like putting Nikes on a cheetah. But a speed up. I released in my case Adidas. I'm out this bitch drinking Spike by the two liter. Holler. I ended up playing his whole part, but I mean, it was short, so you know, it is what it is. Let me, uh, let me jump into some scriptures, okay? The same one I bring out, and then I'm going to bring out, you know what I'm saying, like Lord's Will in every uh, video now and then that, that comes out, man. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 27. It says, And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord Yahweh shall lead you, okay? And that's why, you know, Yellow Wolf, he looks the way he looks, man, because, you know, our people, you know, uh, more specifically like Northern Child, like when you look at Northern Child, man, and I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm going to get that as well. Like when you look at Northern Child, the, the so-called uh, Latinos and the, uh, the Native Americans, like, uh, like a lot of them have like, like lighter skin and stuff like that because of intermingling, you know, with, with Esau Edom, you know? A lot of it happened happened because of intermingling with Esau Edom, man. You know, and also Ephraim more specifically. You know, in the ancient world, he was intermingling with the Assyrians, man. You know, and they had uh, lighter skin and fairer skin. You know, so by all of this intermingling, you know, and, and cohabitation with the uh, with the heathen, our people again have started looking like the other nations. Okay, so it's just like you can't be so quick to cast. You can't be so quick to uh, 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 cast judgment. You know, on, on whoever walks up to the camp. That's why it's good to be peaceable, man. Okay, because again, Yahweh Shem Yashah has scattered us for reproach, man. Oh, shoot. I'm punching it in. Uh, let me get this in um, Hosea 1 and 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. And, you know, I got to ask, bro, is, is that not happening today? The place where the Lord said, Ye are not my people, which is right here in the Babylon, which is America, okay? Which is Babylon, uh, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt and Babylon, according to the Holy Bible, okay? The Lord said, you know, the Lord said, you know, you ain't my people, man. And what, what happened? We, we got dealt with, man. Okay, we, we got dealt with on a, on a real harsh level. Okay, we forgot, we totally forgot who we was, man. That's why now we're being called by these these uh, by words in these proverbs today, man. Niggas speak uh, Indian, or right, which means savage, and things of that nature. Okay, it says yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor number. So again, man, only the heavenly Father knows how many of us there are. Okay, and like I said, like I sincerely believe through the Spirit. You know, 
Yellow Wolf is 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 one of us, as Eminem and you know the others that I had mentioned earlier, man. Okay, but that was the point on that. Um Yellow Wolf. Yeah, I had looked this up like a couple of days ago. Or whatever the case, but I wanted to like use it for today. You know, um Michael Wayne Atal, born December 30th, 1979. Uh, known by his stage name Yellow Wolf, is an American rapper. He's one. Uh, he is of Caucasian and Cherokee descent, and his stage name Yellow Wolf is a reference to his Native American roots. Yellow Wolf is currently signed to Shady Records, uh, so on and so forth. Um, he's from Gaston. I forgot which uh which one I looked at. He's from uh, Alabama. You know, I throw up the A or whatever the case, man. <laughs> Um, and then, and he, you know, it's even more funny. His his last name is Ata. You know, Ata in the Hebrew is is uh you. Okay, so so Jake be having Hebrew names, and I'll be saying like uh, uh Hebrew words here and there, whatever the case is, and don't even know, man. Okay, and and don't even like like truly and sincerely know. Um, let me see if if this is it. Uh, regarding his stage name, Yellow Wolf has said, Yellow Wolf is Native American. My father is Cherokee, and I'm from the Cherokee County, Gasden, Alabama. See, there you go, man. Okay, don't don't get me wrong, man, because you got a lot of Edomites out here, and, and this is how you know the devil is the damn devil, man. All right, uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is how you know the damn devil is the is the, the devil that he is, man. Okay, because you got a lot of uh, uh, Caucasians. You know, who who try to rise up and claim that they're Native Americans as well, man. Okay, and even though some of them might might look like, you know, like quote unquote Cherokee Indians, it's just like, why would they why would they all of a sudden rise up and start calling themselves Cherokee Indian? Okay? Because they, they know about, and I'm gonna get into it, Abaratiza, you know, the, the spirit lead me that way, the paper genocide, man. Okay? Where some of them was written off, if they was like too dark, then they'll be written off as black. If they was uh, uh, light skin, they'd be written off as white, okay. But like, like I said, I'm gonna go into that, man. Um, where was it? Where uh, it was talking about his um, his his name, Yellow Wolf. Let me see. Look, and his origin was Antioch, Tennessee. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, the the Trail of Tears is is out there in um, Tennessee somewhere, man. Okay, um, let me see, Yellow Wolf name meaning. I forgot what I, I forgot exactly what it meant. Okay, here we go. It says. He says he constructed the name Yellow Wolf from the word yellow, which I thought, which at the, I, I really don't know how you say it, like how he would say his name, but you know, it looks like the Hebrew word Atta, which means you. It says um, Yellow Wolf from the word yellow, which Atta claims is Cherokee for sun, and the English word wolf, because it represents the duality between his intellectual light side and his aggressive survivalist dark side. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all know anything about uh Gad, you know, Esau used to call used to call them wolves. He used to compare, you know, uh northern tribe to wolves and southern tribe to dogs. Okay, because dogs is more loyal and obedient, you know. Hence how, you know, a, a lot of southern tribe, you know, a lot of Judites, you know, Benjamites and Levites was more submissive to Esau than um than Gad was, you know, but now Ultimately, and that was that was way back when, man. You know, but you still got Jake's uh like that today, man. You know what I'm saying? Like um uh extremely submissive to Esau, man. Okay. But um no nah, uh, Esau Esau he would refer to the Native Americans and the Seminole Indians, you know, uh, mo uh most of the northern tribe is is wolves, man, because they were rebellious, man. They were they were stubborn, you know, and that's that's the nature of a wolf, they're aggressive, you know what I'm saying? You know, and Gad was was always a uh, um uh what you call it um bearing fangs at Esau, man. You know, there was some Gadites that you know that didn't eat 
that didn't have us uh, sleep with their women to reproduce and things of that nature because he didn't want to give the devil the advantage, man. Okay. But again, that was like, that's when all of this shit really started, like the hardcore bondage and things of that nature. Okay. So, um, that was that on Yellow Wolf, Justin Timberlake, because like I said, it was, it was the elder, I forgot, I, I believe it was Elder Apostle Tahar. And I tried to look it up, but I couldn't really, I couldn't really get too much out of it. But um, I'm going to read this. You know, Justin Timberlake, I'm going to pull up a picture of him. Well, here's a picture of him. Y'all know Justin Timberlake. Y'all got phones, use him. Um, but yeah, like, again, like, here's, here's another, you know, who I believe is a Jake that looks like a so-called white man. Okay, so, and Justin Timberlake has been in the game for a long time as well. You know, he's been in a long time, just like Eminem and Yellow Wolf. Uh, he's been in, he's been in the game for some time too, you know, but not before Justin, man. And uh, M. All right. So on his website, Thompson, the firm that helped develop the brand for the course, specifically identifies Timberlake's ancestral tribe and explained the course's name. Justin is part Cherokee Indian. It reads, "We discovered the word Miramichi by searching." old Indian names. Let me see. Yeah, you remember right? Yeah, y'all remember Justin Timberlake from uh NSYNC, you know, and um the song with T.I. Dead and Gone and you know many other songs, man. Like Justin Timberlake, you know, in his time, in his in his prom, you know, he he was like a real big hit maker. You know, real big hit maker, man. You know? Um It says, uh, Timberlake, who initially rose to fame as a member of boy band NSYNC, and then as a solo artist, and has starred in such films as The Social Network and the upcoming thriller in time, has made occasional comments about his likely native ancestry. And that's no coincidence, man. Like, look, like, look at his last name. It's uh, Timberlake, you know, and that's how a lot of Gadites would uh, uh, name themselves, you know, after like parts of the land. You know, um, like the, the stars and things of that nature, okay? It says in an article at contactmusic.com, he is quoted as saying, I've had my genealogy study, and I want to say that I am of British descent. There was a British lad who was in a war, not sure which war, but he ran away from the war because he fell in love with an Indian girl, and that's where my family tree started. All right, and you know, for those of you who don't know, and I'm going to pull up the, uh, the scripture right now, man, all right? And the... the if this is true, if, if that is true to itself, if that is true to itself, then a British, the, the British lad might have been a Jake anyway, man. Just, again, scattered among the heathen. Okay, let me get this in, um, I don't know if it's numbers to fit. I know it's in numbers. Um, it might have been House of the Father, but I'll, I know it was in number. That's too far down. Um, let me see. Yeah. Numbers 1 and 18, it says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old upward by their poles. So, um, oops. So, in order to, like, really determine the nationality of a person, it goes back to the, uh, to the seed of the father, all right? Because... What a lot of people don't consider, and this is this is why the, the wisdom of this world is foolishness, man. Because, you know, they teach you that the, uh, 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 they, they, well, they, they stress the fact that women carry the child for nine months. Like, that's, like, that's the hardest job in the world, okay? We have to, we have, uh, we have to do it our whole lives. Because what, like, the, the sperms that's floating around in our sex, man, all right, they, they, they get uh, uh, put into the woman, okay? And then later on, you know what I'm saying? A, a child is produced through through her, okay? But it came, the seed came from the man. The seed came from the man, all right? So we have to put our seed in the woman. She carries the child for, you know, a fixed time, all right? And then the child is born, man. You know, but you got you, but you got these these women out here like, 
I don't need no man. It's just if you don't need no man, how the fuck are you gonna have a family? How are you gonna have children? You know, and then they got this whole surrogate pregnancy shit. Hey, look, y'all are wicked, man. Hey, yeah, how about Shimon Shashalak Rayim? Oh, you proud ass women, man. Okay? You damn whores. I don't need no man. I don't need no man. Okay, good luck trying to build another society by yourselves, man. Okay? Which that's not gonna happen anyway. You know? But in, even if you could, man, it's just it's it's you won't be able to, man. All right. Um, yeah, all like it's it's a it's a few scriptures in Numbers where it's, where where it all says by the house of their fathers, man, the house of their fathers. Okay, not the mother. Okay, not the grandmother. The house of their fathers. Okay, because what the father carries the seed. Okay, uh, the word husband it means planter. Okay, the word husband literally means planter. When when you're a husbandman, okay, you're a farmer, you're a planter. Okay, so the men we 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 drop the seed in the soil, which is the woman. Okay, and she produces. Okay, but that was the point on that. You know, um, I said I was gonna go into the. Uh, I'm not gonna play too much music today because I really just wanted to like go into the look, go into like some more research. And things of that nature, man. You know, because this, again, man, like this, this is no joke. Like a lot of, a lot more Jakes is going to start waking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that look like the heathen. They're going to start waking up to the, to the possibility of them being, you know, Israelites, man. I say possibility, but you know, fact, man, so through the spirit, you know what I mean? Um, I was on this and I'm, I'm not going to read the whole article. You know what I'm saying? If, you know, any brothers or whoever want to, like, look at this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could pause the video and look at the other uh, name of the site. Again, just so you know, I ain't, no, I ain't no no bullshit, man. This is uh, Paper Genocide, the erasure of Native people in census counts. All right, it says Native people were excluded from the first 70 years under the Constitution, which regarded Indians not taxed is not countable. Okay, so... They wasn't even like considered people, man. You know, each of them a little bit of land and, and things of that nature were just like, here, go be happy or go do your little Indian shit or whatever. Because hey, that's the nature of this devil, man. He, he'll he come over and take over, you know what I'm saying, your your spot and then start telling you what to do, man. Okay, but we, we know, you know, it was all through the spirit, you know, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. All the curses hit all of the tribes, man. All the curses hit all the trials, man. We all got discontinued from my heritage. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Look it up. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna read all that. Where's the part that I wanted to uh here, here, here it is. Now, like I said, if you want to look at the article, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, pause the video from the top, or I'll post the link in the uh in the description and stuff like that. You know, y'all can look at this yourselves, man. Um, and then you decide, man, you know, who's the Jake and who's not, you know, because I had somebody come up, coming up here trying to talk shit, man. And, um, the only reason it's not going to work is because like, 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 you know, if, if the spirit be continue to dealing with me, okay, I'm a spiritual man, you know what I'm saying? So the elders and the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the brothers that, that I learned from, you know, they, they taught me how to look at these scriptures, you know what I'm saying? And, and use everything, you know, effectively against the world, man. Okay, somebody was on the common board the other week trying to talk shit like the other uh, the guy that I have posted, you know that that I said felt like it was a Jake. You know he came up trying to talk shit, so I cut him with the scriptures. You know, um, this is on Rewire News Group. It says the ratio of Native American so like it says the ratio of Native people from the U.S. Census and tribal roles amounts to paper genocide, a systematic destruction. Because that's essentially what, what genocide is, man. Like, gene, okay, gene, okay, uh, a site, which is a, a, um, a, a kill, okay? So, a, the a gene killing, okay? Um, genocide, a systematic destruction of Native identity by reclassifying people into non-Native racial groups on government records. By erasing our existence via the census, uh, via the census, our treaty rights are further ignored and funding streams for our tribal nations are gutted. What's worse, the details surrounding the 2020 census suggest there is no real change in sight. 
Okay, and that's wicked as hell, man. So this whole systematic rearranging and reconstruction of, of, of our people, okay, that's the doing of Esau, Edom, man. Okay? Because that's his nature, man. Again, Job 9 and 24. Hey, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Okay, and are we not the judges of the earth? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are we not the judges of the earth? Okay? Um... But yeah, that was that was the real point on that, man. You know? So now today, so that was the paper genocide. And again, like they wrote them off as, you know, uh blacks or whites. You got a lot of uh dark skin, you know, um uh, uh like real dark skin like my complexion, you know, um uh Native Americans out here as well, man. Okay? You got a lot of dark skin Native uh, Americans out here as well who don't even know that they're Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? Because because they they look like Southern Child, but you know they they may be Northern Child. You know, like you like. As a matter of fact, let me um. Black Dominicans. <laughs> yeah, man, you you going you gonna have. I can't tell if that's fake or real, man. I don't know about that one, but you you gonna have you gonna have um you gonna have you gonna have what the fuck is man Jake is wicked or so you gonna have our people you know what I'm saying like you excuse me you gonna have Southern tribe I mean you gonna have Northern tribe that's that's gonna look like Southern tribes man you know what I'm saying but you are gonna have Southern tribes you gonna have Northern tribes yes that look like Southern tribes I said that right all right through the and through the spirit. They they they're northern tribes, man. You know, there's some dark skinned people in uh uh the Dominican Republic, uh Puerto Rico, um uh whatchamacallit and um uh the reservations, you know what I'm saying? Like where where Gad and Ruben is and things of that nature. Okay, because again, through that paper genocide, look at these like these these dark skinned Dominicans, man. They they're northern tribe. They're northern tribe. So it's it's not far fetched, man. You know, even though the scriptures say, you know, uh, Ephraim should be like a cake, not turn, not all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like went to being completely light skin, but the bulk, the majority of them are light skin, you know? Yeah, man. Like, like you, Jake, Jake looks like, like, look like everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? We're, we, uh, we, um, uh, we've been written off as colors instead of, you know what I'm saying? By our proper names. Okay, because of this damn devil, you know? So that was the point on that. Lord willing, Akim Wagwatium, which is brothers and sisters in the Paleo Hebrew, you know, um Akim meaning brothers, Akwatium meaning sisters. Um was edified through the spirit. Alright, I'm gonna say call Halayim La, Yaha Bashim Yahasha Bashamra Kakwadash. This has been another Jake and Fate installment. I'm gonna say Shalom.